Hey there, my friends. I hope uh, this video finds you well. Uh, we've made it to the halfway point of the week. Actually, by the end of Wednesday, we're uh, over the halfway point of the week. But uh, I imagine if you've stumbled into this video, you're kind of quite curious about what it's going to be about by the um, title of it. That was quite an odd title there. And I'll tell you what it's going to be about. I'm currently reading a book called The Untethered Soul by uh, Michael Singer. Now, this book's been out for quite some time. Um, I forget exactly when it came out. but uh, And I've listened to a couple of talks by his on uh, YouTube and various places, but just never really uh, was very familiar with his uh, work or his uh, outlook on life. So... I was doing some research. I think I mentioned in the last video where I talked about my meditation practice that um, I'm kind of ready to take it deeper here. And this weekend, I think it was Saturday, I was on my computer and I started doing a little bit of research. I've kind of just started looking for some new sources, looking for some books, maybe uh, trying to shake my brain to some older books that I've read that I that it might bear uh, rereading. But I, can't, I settled on uh, the, the Untethered Soul by Michael Singer. And I'm glad I did because I, I really, and I jumped into this book. I normally take my sweet time reading a book, but um, this one should be done. I probably will finish this one today or tomorrow. So it'll be done after about four days of reading. And it came to that question in there. It's, have you ever, um, you know, you've either you've studied something, you've practiced something, or you've tried to figure something out for a long time, and somebody, and you've probably even heard this before, but somebody says it just the right way where it actually resonates this time. So when he started talking about who am I, he was um, actually referencing a guy named Ramana Maharshi. And I'll read, I'm, I'm going to read a little bit of what he said here in just a few minutes. But uh, this, I thought, I, I saved the particular uh, passage in the book that really sums it up uh, nicely. And when I read this um, the other day, it was just like, like this light bulb went off. And um, even just in the few days, my meditations have been better. Although I don't like to use that word. I don't like to think of my meditation practice in the good of in the sense, in the terms of this was a good practice today, this was a bad practice today. There's no such thing. It's about showing up and being aware. And that's really what it all boils down to for me. It's just awareness. So by Michael Singer, you are not your thoughts. You are aware of your thoughts. That little, the, all that inner stuff going on all the time, that's not you. You're, but you're aware of your thoughts. You are not your emotions. You feel your emotions. You are not your body. You look at it in the mirror and experience this world through its eyes and ears. You are the conscious being who is aware that you are aware of all these inner and outer things. Let me read that one more time. You are the conscious being who is aware that you are aware of all these inner and outer things. And then I was continuing to do research. Well, actually, this was a couple of days later after I had read a little bit. And I continued doing some research and I was, uh, I just kind of played around. I Googled Who Am I by Ramana Maharshi. And I read a little bit. That's coming after I finish um, the current book, The Untethered Soul. His, his uh, book, not really a book, it's basically just eight pages and you can get it on a PDF if you just uh, search Who Am I? Ramana Maharshi. And this is actually from the Ramdas.org uh, website, and this was actually something written by Ram Das, uh, which kind of brought it into clarity even a little bit more. Ramana Maharshi said, look, it's all very simple, everybody. And then for 40 or 45 years, all he did was going around telling everyone how simple it was. He said that all you keep doing is self-inquiry, vichara atma, who am I? You keep saying this, who am I, who am I, who am I? Here's an exercise you can go through. You sit down quietly and you say, who am I? And then the way I do it is I put the I, the thought of the I, right in the middle of my head or right here. And I say, I am not this body. Then I experience my body as object to the I in the middle of my head. I see it. I feel it. I sense it, I sense it as an object. Then I say, I am not my five organs of action. And then I experience my arms as objects, my legs as objects, my tongue as an object. Um, 
each of them are experienced as that and here each of them are experienced as that and here I am in the middle of my head then I say I am not my senses now you have been in a room where there is a clock ticking and you start to read something and you get so turned on by what you're reading you don't hear the clock tick everybody is in that situation and when you finish reading then the clock is ticking again now actually all the time you were there the clock was ticking uh, your ear was hearing the clock tick but you weren't attending to your ear hearing the clock tick it was involuntary in other words there's a place between the three and the two there's a place between your attention and your ear hearing the clock tick so what so what you do is you don't turn off but you observe your hearing like when I'm talking watch your ear moving watch your ear hearing me talk watch your eyes seeing watch your nose smelling note your mouth tasting note your skin feeling do it all from a place right in the middle of the I thought then I am not my five internal organs and you go through digestion erection excretion respiration perspiration and circulation and then you're ready for the clincher the exquisite one you got all that you're finished with the body now where are you you're in the middle of this I thought in the middle of the head that you own and you say I am not this thought so then it becomes well where am I I am here I am here any thought you can think of you're not that one if you can do that and it takes quite a while I mean really a long time you come to a place where you go behind your senses and behind your thinking mind when you're able to do that you go through a doorway and you enter in into what in Zen is called Satori in Hindu is called Samadhi and the beginning of what is known as Sachi Ananda when you've gone through these stages within that you come to a place where you are synonymous with that very fine energy that is an identity with that is an identity with consciousness now you've got to understand that the identity that that energy that very very fine energy is an identity with consciousness that the universe is consciousness it is not self-consciousness but it is consciousness which that kind of gets into some deep stuff like you know Ram Das is going to do but yeah like um, I've, I've just noticed this and it slowed down or it, it's greatly cut back on that continuing conversation in my head that's probably a little bit worse for me since I spend most of my time on my own I just every time I start find myself either having a conversation or just random thoughts going through my head I go back to that who am I who am I who am I and also too, just kind of I, I, I can really relate to the clock ticking but you don't hear it because I kind of had this a little bit in meditation yesterday I was sitting and my hands I don't know there was something just about a just the slightest bit uncomfortable about the way my hands I was wanting to fidget and also the way my feet were placed I was kind of wanting to fidget so I noticed that I got I was concentrating on my feet for a couple of seconds there and I'd forgotten all about my hands and then I went back to my, my hand was bothering me a little bit and I went back to my hand forgot all about my feet so it's just like like he said in there it can be a lifetime of work but as I've mentioned before I want to go um, I'm in a phase now where I want to go deeper with my meditation practice in fact I think I'm gonna I'm trying to get some uh, thoughts together on it but I think I'm gonna do 30 days of meditation over on my Facebook page there's a link to it um, in the description below once again if you've gotten this far and I, I probably should have said it at the very beginning I'm not a meditation teacher if I do this 30 days of meditation it's just going to be to encourage people to show up in other words you come in just every day and you check in that you meditated that day and like I think 30 days if you can do it for 30 days in a row you can make a habit of it and also you start to get a taste of it and it doesn't become a chore because you don't want your meditation practice uh, to become a chore so anyhow go um, follow that page like that page I forget what you do with pages these days and um, I will keep you updated on that if it, I think it's gonna probably be here in about three weeks or so but anyhow hope you guys enjoyed this video if you like it please give me a thumbs up and I appreciate you following peace